You have to love a nation that celebrates its independence every July 4th, not with a parade of guns, tanks, and soldiers who file by the White House in a show of strength and muscle, but with family picnics where kids throw frisbees, the potato salad gets iffy, and the flies die from happiness. You may think you have overeaten, but it is patriotism. When I stand before God at the end of my life, I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left, and could say, I used everything you gave me. Seize the moment. Remember all those women on the Titanic who waved off the dessert cart. Given another shot at life, I would seize every minute, look at it and really see it. Live it and never give it back. Stop sweating the small stuff. Don't worry about who doesn't like you, who has more, or who's doing what. Instead, let's cherish the relationships we have with those who do love us. When my kids become wild and unruly, I use a nice, safe playpen. When they're finished, I climb out. Some emotions don't make a lot of noise. It's hard to hear pride. Caring is real faint, like a heartbeat. And pure love, why, some days it's so quiet, you don't even know it's there. My idea of housework is to sweep the room with a glance. Someday, when my children are old enough to understand the logic that motivates a mother, I'll tell them, I loved you enough to bug you about where you were going, with whom and what time you would get home. I loved you enough to be silent and let you discover your friend was a creep. I loved you enough to make you return a Milky Way with a bite out of it to a drugstore and confess, I stole this. But most of all I loved you enough to say no when you hated me for it. That was the hardest part of all. No one ever died from sleeping in an unmade bed. Laughter rises out of tragedy when you need it the most and rewards you for your courage. If you can't make it better, you can laugh at it. Encourage independence in your children by regularly losing them in the supermarket. There are people who put their dreams in a little box and say, yes, I've got dreams, of course I've got dreams. Then they put the box away and bring it out once in a while to look in it, and yep, they're still there. These are great dreams, but they never even get out of the box. It takes an uncommon amount of guts to put your dreams on the line, to hold them up and say, how good or how bad am I? That's where courage comes in. Never go to a doctor whose office plants have died. Grandparenthood is one of life's rewards for surviving your own children. It seemed rather incongruous that in a society of super sophisticated communication, we often suffer from a shortage of listeners. He who laughs, lasts. If I had my life to live over, instead of wishing away nine months of pregnancy, I'd have cherished ever moment and realized that the wonderment growing inside me was the only chance in life to assist God in a miracle. The odds of going to the store for a loaf of bread and coming out with only a loaf of bread are three billion to one. When the going gets tough, the tough make cookies. Friends are annuals that need seasonal nurturing to bear blossoms. Family is a perennial that comes up year after year, enduring the droughts of absence and neglect. There's a place in the garden for both of them. A member of the committee slapped a name tag over my left bosom. What shall we name the other one? I smiled. She was not amused. I never leaf through a copy of National Geographic without realizing how lucky we are to live in a society where it is traditional to wear clothes. Mothers are not the nameless, faceless stereotypes who appear once a year on a greeting card with their virtue set to prose but women who have been dealt a hand for life and play each card one at a time the best way they know how. No mother is all good or all bad, all laughing or all serious, all loving or all angry. Ambivalence rushes through their veins. 
Cleaning the house while the children are home is like shoveling while it's still snowing. When mothers talk about the depression of the empty nest, they're not mourning the passing of all those wet towels on the floor, or the music that numbs your teeth, or even the bottle of capless shampoo dribbling down the shower drain. They are upset because they've gone from supervisor of a child's life to a spectator. It's like being the vice president of the United States. Cleanliness is not next to godliness. It isn't even in the same neighborhood. No one has ever gotten a religious experience out of removing burned on cheese from the grill of the toaster oven. It takes a lot of courage to show your dreams to someone else. Volunteers are the only human beings on the face of the earth who reflect this nation's compassion, unselfish caring, patience, and just plain love for one another. Success is outliving your failures. Did you ever notice that the first piece of luggage on the carousel never belongs to anyone? Time. It hangs heavy for the bored, eludes the busy, flies by the for young, and runs out for the aged. I've exercised with women so thin that buzzards followed them to their cars. I see children as kites. You spend a lifetime trying to get them off the ground. You run with them until you're both breathless. They crash. You add a longer tail. You patch and comfort, adjust and teach. You watch them lifted by the wind and assure them that someday they'll fly. Giving birth is little more than a set of muscular contractions granting passage of a child. Then the mother is born. I remember thinking how often we look, but never see. We listen, but never hear. We exist, but never feel. We take our relationships for granted. A house is only a place. It has no life of its own. It needs human voices, activity, and laughter to come alive. A grandparent will help you with your buttons, your zippers, and your shoelaces and not be in any hurry for you to grow up. I love my mother for all the times she said absolutely nothing. Thinking back on it all, it must have been the most difficult part of mothering she ever had to do, knowing the outcome, yet feeling she had no right to keep me from charting my own path. I thank her for all her virtues, but mostly for never once having said, I told you so. He opened the jar of pickles when no one else could. He was the only one in the house who wasn't afraid to go into the basement by himself. He cut himself shaving, but no one kissed it or got excited about it. It was understood when it rained, he got the car and brought it around to the door. When anyone was sick, he went out to get the prescription filled. He took lots of pictures. But he was never in them. The hippopotamus is a vegetarian and looks like a wall. Lions who eat only red meat are sleek and slim. Are nutritionists on the wrong track? The family. We are a strange little band of characters trudging through life sharing diseases and toothpaste, coveting one another's desserts, hiding shampoo, borrowing money, locking each other out of our rooms, and trying to figure out the common thread that bound us all together. Good kids are like sunsets. We take them for granted. Every evening they disappear. Most parents never imagine how hard they try to please us, and how miserable they feel when they think they have failed. Children make your life important. If I had my life to live over again, I would have waxed less and listened more. I would have cried and laughed less while watching television and more while watching real life. But mostly, given another shot at life, I would seize every minute of it. Look at it and really see it. Try it on. Live it. Exhaust it. And never give the minute back until there was nothing left of it. When humor goes, there goes civilization. 
all of us have moments in our lives that test our courage. Taking children into a house with a white carpet is one of them. It's the three pairs of eyes that mothers have to have. One pair that see through closed doors. Another in the back of her head, and, of course, the ones in front that can look at a child when he goofs up and reflects I understand, and I love you without so much as uttering a word. Housework, if it is done properly, can cause brain damage. Maybe age is kinder to us than we think. With my bad eyes, I can't see how bad I look, and with my rotten memory, I have a good excuse for getting out of a lot of stuff. It is not until you become a mother that your judgment slowly turns to compassion and understanding. One thing they never tell you about child raising is that for the rest of your life, at the drop of a hat, you are expected to know your child's name and how old he or she is. Have you any idea how many children it takes to turn off one light in the kitchen three? It takes one to say what light and two more to say I didn't turn it on. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.